just wanted to show everyone the uh, fight I've been having trying to get the NASA GPS to lock properly. Um, it seems to lock just fine as long as the GoPro isn't, GoPro 2 I should say, isn't around. So uh, right now uh, I've been moving the, the GPS around the, the body to try to find a more suitable location versus where the GoPro is. I had it up here and then the GoPro was here uh, and that was causing intermittent uh, failures in GPS lock. So uh, just to show you right now the uh, the GPS is having to pick up satellites through a tree cover of about I would say 50% of the sky so it's not optimal but uh, it did obtain a, a good clean lock you got a solid green light blinking so what I'll do to show is I will turn on the the Hero 2 and I'll move it to right there and you see it's already losing satellite lock uh, and we'll let it sit for a bit and it's already we're down uh, I forget what number that is but uh, it's got one flashing red and that'll go to two and sometimes it'll even go to three and back and forth to one uh, very intermittent very lossy now we'll try moving it away we'll move it to its normal position up front and it takes a bit but it generally recovers and we've got a solid green again we'll do it again let's get a good solid green one more time It appears as though even at this distance there is some interference happening because it, it will not stay solid green. I'm going to move it out even further. Okay, it looks like we've got a lock now. I'll bring it back and you can see it. It's already turning red again. Anyway, it's a little, little bit disappointing that the GoPro 2 causes this kind of interference and uh, it's also disappointing that the NASA GPS is so sensitive that uh, even this device can, can keep it from locking properly.